trigonometry compound angle formulae page 3 in the OCR formula book these three identities are the ones that we're going to focus on so the first one sine a plus or minus b all that is saying is if you have something like this sine and I'm going to put numbers into this 20 plus 30 that's equal to sine so what's the a and what's the b well a is 20 and b is 30 so you've got sine 20 cos 30 and then if there's a plus here on the top the sine on the top goes with that plus which is also a plus cos a which is 20 sine b which is 30 and to prove this works sine 20 plus 30 0.766 so now we've got sine 20 cos 30 plus cos 20 times sine 30 0 0.766 exactly the same now let's say instead the angle A there is uh, 2x and B is uh, 10 and we've got an A here so I'll need a 2x here there's an A here I need a 2x there B is 10 there's a B there so that's 10 the B here and that's 10 I can also modify the, uh, the sign there if that wasn't a plus let's say that's a minus here then you get a minus on this side let's say if A and B are both the same so if I put X here and X here then you will get this and simplifying this that's a sine x times a cos x term here this is also sine x times cos x so you've got two lots of sine x cos x and simplifying this x plus x gives you sine 2x what you have here is a double angle formula for sine so the angle on the right hand side so these are the same they're both angle X so if you take the angle on the right hand side and you double it times 2 so this is called a double angle formula because in this you have double the angle that you started with this is a very useful identity which can be used to solve many equations that you will find in the exam papers and it's one that's commonly used as well it needs to be memorized okay so write this down somewhere and memorize this so let's say you start with uh, 2 sine and the angle here is 3x cos and this angle and this angle are always the same 3x so what would you have on this side well this is saying that this is a double angle formula so I need to multiply my angle by 2 the angle on the right hand side is 3x so double that will be 6x so now you have this identity um, let's say if you start with sine 10x on the left hand side and you're thinking how can I rewrite that but with half the angle on the right hand side and the reason I'm saying half is from the right to the left you're multiplying by 2 so if you start from the left so the 2x and you go to the right this way you're multiplying the angle by a half so for half the 10x I get 5x again the same angle in both of these I get 5x so halving this way 
and doubling this way. You can have fractions for your angles as well. So if I start with sine x, and I'm trying to write that as 2 sine something cos something, so starting from the left to the right, I have to half this angle. So a half x and a half x. Moving on to the next identity for cosine, a plus or minus b from the formula book. So for instance, if we start with cos brackets 10 plus 20. So the a is 10, the b is 20. So that gives cos 10 cos 20, because the a is 10 and the b is 20. Now be careful with the sign here. On the top here, I've got a plus. On the top here, there's a minus. So that plus and that minus go together. And underneath here, you've got the minus. Underneath here, you've got a plus. So that minus and that plus go together. I started with the plus here. So I need to have a minus on this side. Sine 10, sine 20. And again with this, if that wasn't a plus in between there, so if that was a, a minus here, so with that minus goes that plus. The compound angle formula for cos A plus or minus B is given to you in the OCR formula book. And as before, if we replace the A and the B with angle X, then we end up with, uh, with all of this, which we can summarize to cos squared X from these two minus sine squared X. And as we can see, this is a double angle formula because if you take the angle on the right and you multiply it by 2, you get the angle on the left. So the angle x times 2 gives you 2x. Now using this standard double angle trig identity, we can come up with uh, a few other very useful identities based on the double angle um, uh, formula for, for cosine. So using this, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1, and it's two rearranged forms, so sine squared x equals 1 minus cos squared, or cos squared equals 1 minus sine squared. So we get these two useful trig identities for cos 2x. And we can rearrange this identity to make cos squared x the subject. So we've got this identity very useful and we can do the same with this one. Rearrange this to make sine squared x the subject to get this identity. In this example we can see that the double angle identity means that we multiply by 2 going from the right to the left and if we do the same here times 2 then the angle here should be a half x formula book, and the last of the three, tan A plus or minus B. Tan 20, which is angle A, plus 25, which is angle B, will then give tan 20. And if you compare the signs, I've got a plus here plus. That goes with the plus there, but down here it goes with the minus. Okay, so if you look at the sign on the top, that's a plus, plus, minus. So plus, plus, and there's going to be a minus here. And then tan B, which is 25, and then there's a 1, that's always a 1 there, got the minus, tan A, which is 20, times tan B, which is 25. 
I've done this in degrees, I could have done this in radians as well, it's still going to work. If I change the signs, so let's say this was a minus, so that's the sign underneath this time, so that's a minus, underneath, that's a minus, underneath, that's a plus. So minus, minus, plus. So if A and B are both the same, and this will lead to a double angle formula for tan, then we have this throughout, which simplified, well tan x plus tan x, so that's two lots of tan x over 1 minus tan x times tan x will give you tan squared. And on this side here, x plus x is 2x. So this is the double angle identity for tan. You need to memorize this. So if the angle on the right hand side is 3x, we know that we're going to double from the right to the left. So doubling the 3x gives you 6x on the left hand side. 